guys, welcome back to my home, our city. I'm Robert, and I am on my way to a henna studio here in the plateau in Mount Royale. The owner has asked me and the project to come to see what we can do with some of the things that she already has and give her space um, a much needed redesign. She is a very talented artist in her own right, so I'm excited to display some of her uh, henna works. So we'll definitely display that in an artful manner and perhaps some of her own art. I'm very excited. Hey guys, we are just in Shiny's Hannah studio and we've got her hard at work. You can see her in the mirror behind me. I've got my spruce beer in hand. I'm going to get some uh, final touches for the construction here. I'm excited for you to see the final product. Okay, we are on our way to one of my favorite stores, Rona. They have everything and I'm looking for some screws for a wall feature she needs. This could work out perfectly for something. Yeah, parfait. It is so cold here. So you can see by the redness in my nose that it is one windy day here. But I'm super excited because we're warm and toasty inside. We've got our working gloves on and uh, we're getting stuff done. Yeah, look at that action. <laughs> okay. Last day of the Henna Studio install and I have in my hand Oh my gosh, what a huge piece of drywall because the space that Shiny is in right now used to be the kitchen of a sushi restaurant and there's a pass-through hole between her business and the business in front. So we're going to patch that up for her. Of course, oh, I don't want to get run over by any traffic. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm back at Shiny's Henna Studio here at 3652 uh, St. Lawrence Street. So let's go inside and see the new reveal. taken the liberty of shaving my head, not only uh, in the interest of good television, but also to show you the talent behind uh, Shiny and to give myself some tet fashion for this summer season. <gasps> oh, so nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, so I like it. It's boomer. Not a good Because it's kind of like, so is this is tomorrow enough? Oh yeah, it's so nice. Perfect. It's because it just gives something to the back of my head. It looks so good on you. Hey, thank you so much, guys. That was uh, super enjoyable for me, not only to have my first henna experience, but uh, to renovate that particular studio. Now, some takeaways would be, one, how you hang certain things on the wall. So, of course, with those Indian tapestries, uh, one of the tapestries, we folded in and pulled it very taut, and then we hung her uh, photographs on top of it. So don't forget to layer things in a more decorative
decorative manner. And secondly, the wrapping of that second tapestry over top of a art canvas makes one, it portable, and two, uh, very clean and minimalist. You'll notice the uh, two-seater bench that we used in her client setup was actually a coffee table and we simply put one of her sheepskin rugs over it and used it as a bench. So think outside the box in terms of furniture that you have currently. Zoning, it's so important. So you'll notice in her space, she uses it in three different capacities. So when you utilize a space, in different ways. Make sure you zone them appropriately. Using dark colors on the wall always bring a pop to the accessories and furniture that you have. But I challenge you to actually go on the darker end of the spectrum. Repetition is so important. For a few dollars we took her existing wall mirror and we framed it by using slats of wood for her coat hooks and accessories. I think there are so many takeaways. Let me know which ones you used and which ones you like. Well, thank you so much. If you have or in need of a henna experience, if you have an upcoming tattoo, I highly recommend you reach out to Shiny and her link is below. Of course, share, like, and subscribe this video and reach me at mr.robert.bates on Instagram. If you have a space that you'd like to redesign or you're an artist who wants to be part of this project, from my home in our city, I'm Robert. Till then, bisous. Thank you.